welcome to Friday's Reptile News. Now we're going to start off in Mayfield Village and, and this is just a, a quick uh, police call log that I actually found on the internet where police and uh, a concerned citizen, it says, help the snake cross the road. They say that, uh, you know, police were trying to help the snake cross the road when a passing driver using a snow scraper um, stopped and helped them, which is pretty awesome nowadays with all the killing and everything that goes on. It's super sweet to see that the police and a citizen actually stopped and, you know, most of the time they just get run over, killed, whatever. But, uh, yeah, sweet news, so let's move on to some pain-killing snake venom. Now, I'm sure most everybody's already heard this. It's been all over the social networks the last few days, but uh, yeah, this is Friday. This is Reptile News, so we're gonna talk about it right here. Scientists are saying that compounds extracted from the venom of a black mamba are, have a, they found that they could be as strong as morphine, and on lab rats, they uh, showed strong pain-killing characteristics with uh, no side effects, so where will this lead? I, I, I'm sure a few crazy idiots will probably drink black mamba venom now, but um, you know, it, it, it's amazing. How the research that goes into snake venom and some of the stuff that, that we've been hearing, especially in the last year or so, on how, you know, the, I, I believe it was the uh, Gila Monsters venom, they were working towards a cure for Parkinson's, and uh, it's just amazing, you know, my grandmother died from Parkinson's, so so news like that is just, just fantastic to hear, um, and while it may be a, a day late and a dollar short for, for a lot of people, it's just, I'm super interested to see what the future is going to bring in using some of these toxins that are, are normally designed to, to kill prey and um, unfortunately kill people as well to uh, saving their lives uh, in the near future. And moving on to New Mexico, the Santa Teresa border crossing, apparently um, somebody coming up from Mexico um, said they had nothing to declare, no no goods, no cash, no nothing, and uh, they were taken to secondary inspection at the border crossing there, and they were found to have snake skins and um, goods in their vehicle. Border Patrol found 332 python skins in the center console of the vehicle, as well as six python skin wallets and some armadillo skin stuff, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, the, the person was fined and all the skins and everything were turned over to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. For what reason? I don't know. And let's move on. Now, I saved the best story for last, and this story, it really, it, 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 it's almost kind of a tearjerker. It really is a heartbreaker, and that is is the uh, the very last Siamese crocodile in Vietnam what is believed to be the very last one in the wild in Vietnam was found dead the other day um, apparently strangled by some wire uh, no telling offhand off this story that I received whether it was uh, whether they believed it was an intentional intentional strangulation or accidental or whatever but uh, it's really really sad you know this is the last of a species in a country and well they believe I believe there are fewer than 100 Siamese crocodiles left on the entire world. Like I said, this was the last one in Vietnam, they, what they believe is the last one. They, they estimate its age at close to 100 years old. They did look for eggs inside it. It was a female. Um, they figured if they had found eggs inside it, that might lead to uh, at least some sort of hope that maybe there was a male out there somewhere, or possibly maybe they could extract the eggs and incubate them, but uh, no, she didn't have any eggs in her, which uh, just kind of reinforces the fact that this was the last Siamese crocodile in Vietnam, dead at close to 100 years old. Now this is all on top of uh, over there in Vietnam, their rhino last year, the last rhino died in Vietnam. So now we have a rhino, a crocodile, and they got the tiger, the Asiatic elephant, and as well as the gibbon over there that are critically endangered. And I, I, I'm not 100% sure. They do say that uh, human encroachment and pollution is a huge problem for the animals over there. But, you know, it's just uh, it's, it's a real sad story. It's not looking good for anything over there, um, especially the, uh, the reptile family. And that, my friends, has been all your news for this Friday. If you'd like to read more about these stories that links right down below here in the description and as always if you're still watching my name is Jason White now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other and we'll see you next time